I mean, listen, I know they call it a Mustang, but it should be called a sweat stang because you're going to be sweating after I'm done with the race. You lose. You go home sweating. Hey Greg, how's it going buddy? Been good. Taking the Jeep out today. Don't drive it much anymore. Well the reason I ask you if you could hang out and you can record a video is that you were called out. Called out? By who? Who's calling me out? Who's calling you out? There's this guy Rich that follows my channel that has a 5.0 Mustang and um, he believes that he could beat you in a quarter mile. Would you like to say anything to Greg in video? I mean, yeah. Wish him well, rest in peace. I mean, what can you say? Uh, you know, I like the Jeeps, you know. The car likes the Jeeps. Uh, it loves eating them. Oh. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, basically, I would like to find out if you're interested in uh, running the guy. I know you've never had an official race yet. He's had three official races, and he's lost all three of them. Three-time loser, huh? Three-time loser. Transmission issues like yours, I think maybe a little bit more severe. He's at 860 to the wheels horsepower. Um, he's got some street slicks. I guess they're not slicks, but pretty much street legal tires with amazing traction. Uh, he's running a, uh, a Whipple, I believe, 2.9. Stock block. He's putting the block to the limits. I know you're not even close to pushing yours to the limit. Um, it's an automatic six-speed. It does not have the kind of traction that you have, but it's not bad by any means like your traditional Mustang or anything. Holy. Thanks for the warning, dude. Hey, I'm gonna step on the gas. Oh yeah, dude, thanks, man. Well, let me just recuperate my anus and put it back on my stomach. Hmm. Um, pretty much, we're gonna be towing our vehicles to Mexico, hopefully in two weeks. And uh, we'd like to set this up, street. One from the dig and one roll race. All righty. What do you think? Let's do it. All right. Yeah. Think you can beat him? Definitely on the uh, the quarter from the, from the stop. Yes. Roll race, I'd have to turn everything up. How much can you put to the wheels? What's the most you could put to the wheels if you decide to go bonkers? Probably 1,600 I would feel comfortable with. I really wouldn't <laughs> go above that. Oh, that's horrible. Only 1,600 horsepower? Well, there's a lot of guys that, that are pushing them around that. And you got to rebuild your transmission every year, so maintenance becomes a lot more money. So. People often think that you can just build up a vehicle to handle that much power and never have to really worry about it again, but that's not that's not the case. Even when you do pay for a new transmission, six, seven grand for something that's supposed to be able to handle an unlimited amount of horsepower, you're still in, you're still ending up by getting it refreshed every once in a while, every every year. Um, you might run a few races, and if you push too much, you might you might blow something. So. Um, that's what happens when you build these high horsepower vehicles. But if you overcompensate, you know, you build a vehicle to be able to handle 1,600 horsepower and you only run an 800, 1,000, 1,200, you should be good to go. Right. Um, I, I would honestly feel comfortable pushing this thing to around 1,200 and not really worrying at all about anything. Right. Um, so I have the nitrous set up, but it's not tuned for it yet. Um, if I was to do a, if I was to run race gas, and I was to run a 200 shot of nitrous, it would actually almost double, so you'd get about 400 horsepower out of it. Um, so about a 200 to 250 shot would get me right around 1200 horsepower, give or take. That's, and, that's uh, a stupid power for yeah, a street vehicle. Yeah, I think that'd vehicle. be pretty, pretty fun on, on a track, but there's oh, no yeah. point in doing that on the street. Um, but yeah, I think uh, it'd be nice, fun, competitive race. Uh, put my race gas tune on, and I'll be making right around 8, 8, 830, 840 to the wheels, so right pretty close. How much power do you have to the wheels on this? Uh, it's 850-ish. 850-ish thereabouts, depending on the dyno. 700 pound-foot of torque. It's, I think it should be interesting. I like the fact that you're going to keep it at such a low, um, <laughs> such a low number. Just because it really, it would be interesting just because, you know, you, the tra traction versus weight, 
you know, all these different factors, you know, in a way kind of do even things out, I think. Oh, yeah. In a quarter mile, at least. Yeah. You know, um, I think the, the roll racing is where the issues are going to start kind of piling up against you. Not, not issues, but where gravity, physics, and wind resistance kind of, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, absolutely. You know, but I, I really do think, like I said in my video, that the quarter mile, you should be able to beat them. Um, uh, especially if you, if you go to Mexico, we run at night where he's not going to have ideal warm roads. Granted, the air will be colder. Um, I don't know, man. It's, you know, <sighs> try to stick to this, like, objectively, you know, like, stick it from the outside. You know, I don't like, I, I try not to think of it as it's my friend's car and it's another Mustang. I'm trying to think of it as logic and, and I think the Jeep will, will well, take the quarter. as long as he's not crashing into me. <laughs> I think Wait. We weekly, I see a Mustang go off the road. Is there anything you like to say to him? Hey, listen, I know they call it a Mustang, but it should be called a Sweat Stang because you're going to be sweating after I'm done with the race. You lose. You go home sweating. Going sweating? Come on, you got to have more than that, dude. I don't know. Unload on Rich, man. I know you're a nice dude, you're a relaxed dude, but the shit that he said in his video, man, he even told me that Jeeps are cute. Every woman he knows owns ones or some shit like that. You can't let him get away with that, man. No need to trash talk. The Jeep will do all the trash talking for me. I can see you're ready for this, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, I don't know. He seems like a cool dude. I really wish him the best. I'm like, no, Greg, talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> you want to gun it for a second? I don't know, man. We'll get to it. These tires, yeah, they... Dude, uh, they kind of went a little bit. Yeah, because the tires are so new. It's going to be close between both of you, dude. Yeah. He made me fucking jump with that shit. Yeah, I gotta burn off that layer you, on the uh, tire there. It definitely didn't grip like last time. No. Yeah, it was like a little squirrely. Mm -hmm. Drive it a little bit before you bring it to the yeah. track. So guys, look, man. I, see, I said it before and I'll say it again. I have no fucking clue who's gonna win. I'm still saying it again like I always say. This is one of my favorite vehicles right here. The Jeep in so many ways. I like the Mustangs, fast as all hell. But something about this Jeep here, man, that even if it loses, in the end, dude, this thing is fucking epic, man. He does such a good job with it, Greg. Yeah, you know? I think it comes down to sometimes you just build up what you like and um, you have fun with it. You know, I've seen all kinds of different cars and a lot of times you see something that maybe is unique and um, if you're having fun driving it, then that's all that matters. Basically, had hard four wheels spinning. Yeah, plus plus I had plus I had just done the tire, the tire wet stuff on them, the grease. That shit, hell? well, no, to make them black, you know? You're trying to kill us? That stuff, that stuff, you know, slicks up the tires. The dude, overspray. performance before pimp, dude. Well, I was trying to get out the wax. Greg, you trying to kill us, dude? Yeah. You put makeup on your wheels, bro? Oh, wait, so with the weight difference with him being overweight and my Jeep being a little heavier, we should even out. <laughs> <laughs> but he's... <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think is going to win, the Jeep or the Mustang? Put in the comments below. Yeah. Greg, thanks, brother. All right, see you, man. Later, man.